everybody. This is me, Dreamer, with my water-stained picture printout of my website. So anyways, another collection room tour. Everybody, this is Joey, aka Dreamer, DreamersInkArt.com, um, which I still haven't uploaded all the, uh, haven't finished creating my galleries of all my collections and stuff. So anyways, uh, this is the door to enter my Marvel DC Man Cave. Okay, so, yeah, it's not the fanciest in the world. I get it. That's cool. I mean, whatever. You know what I mean? So, but um, nonetheless, uh, I've been asked several, well, that's putting it lightly, many times as I've shared pictures. And so um, I'm really behind on totally sharing. So, again, this isn't fancy. I'm a collector, so this isn't like a full-time gig where I do videos and stuff, but... Anyhow, let's just pan around so you can get an idea. Okay, so carpeted, excuse the mess, you know. Yes, I do laundry here too. Okay, see, there, proof, everything there, out of the way. Get the embarrassing part out of the way because I know a lot of you guys have like your own collection room that's like totally far out, man. Like, and I can dig it, man. You guys got some really cool shit and it's cool because you have like a whole room dedicated to it. So. And uh, it's a lot cleaner and nicer than mine. So again, I get ideas based on you guys. So, so if you see something similar, I've had this for a few years, so I've kind of built upon it, built upon it, and just, um, but anyhow, all right, I'm rambling. I ramble a lot, so, you know. All right, so um, the theme I used to have before I got into comics and, um, well, before I got into statues hard, more hardcore than I am now, I, everything was like 60s and 70s theme. So I used to collect piggy banks and stuff like that. That's why I have like original slot machine and, and pachinko machine and 64, 1964 Coca-Cola machine and even a slot machine over there. Anyways, so this is one of my latest pieces. I just wanna thank you to the person I traded this from. Just want to say uh, thank you, thank you, much love, um, because this piece is totally, totally awesome. And I wish it wasn't so dark. Again, I'm still adding lights and stuff, but this is a four-piece by Iron Studio, um, distributed by SciShow. And I'm not sure. So if someone knows the manufacturing production run, that'd be great. We got yeah, Spider Gwen down here, you know, going up against Carnage. Then you got Venom right here going up against Spidey. And oh God, I, I wish I could get a better lighting because this is really dope. This is really sick. So, in fact, let's just pause right there. I want to get a good shot and see if I can. Let's see here. Oops. All right. Okay, how'd that little hiccup happen, so. So let me see if I can zoom in. Like I've definitely got to put like a light up here to just kind of show, you know, cause this is a, this is like a 20 inch piece right here, the Spider-Man. And then it goes all the way down to like six inches with Spider-Gwen. And I'm recording this in a high def so everybody can kind of get a better and I swear when I buy a gimbal one day, these videos won't be shaky. <laughs> that, that's, that's all I'll say about that. Um, so yeah, a few books up there. Like I said, I used to collect piggy banks. That's like a 1971. It's called 1750 because it literally holds $17.50 in quarters. I used to collect a lot of Coca-Cola memorabilia. So... Met some cool people when I went to this, to the Rob Liefeld. Um, if you notice, Pick isn't punched because I don't want to wait around to get a picture with Rob. No offense, Mr. Liefeld, Liefeld, Liefeld. Um, it was totally dope. It was a cool time. The signings, the conversation, cool. But to come back that, you know, at the end of the day just for a photo, I was like, yeah, I got to drive back because it was down in L.A. And I just live like, you know, two hours two and a half hours uh, north, so it's not too bad of a drive, but a lot of my comic books um, come everywhere from 
swap meets, garage sales, thrift stores, Craigslist, and eBay, um, let go, uh, other places like that. What I like about this Iron Patriot is not so much the light up, but look, can I get that right there? Oh, come on, I don't wanna spend 20 minutes trying to focus. Look at that. Okay, only 380 were made. This is number 23. I love that. Isn't that awesome? It's like it's on the rim of the base. I put a leather piece down there just because I don't want to scratch it, vice versa. Hey, anybody want a Coca Cola? Yep, this machine works and it's cold. Here is the 2008 Stan Winston Sideshow um, life size bust. Very cool piece. Very cool piece. The fact that Stan Winston and them, I, I believe, and you guys can correct me, but um, I think they designed the first Iron Man suit for Iron Man 1. So, one of my favorite pieces right here. Um, I've said this before in previous videos, getting those um, from Stanley's uh, company directly, and then I had a little note that said, enjoy the extras. And uh, I told him why, his birthday, all these commonalities I had with him. Um, yeah, and then I got what he said when he said enjoy the extras or maybe some from his office, I don't know. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, my, my Dell computer handles everything I need except for my Dell screens. Okay, there's where the mon here's where a lot of stuff happens that I like up here. I mean, that happens, but stuff. That one got in the Bakersfield Con, Comic Con there. They had Bakersfield. Well, it's more of a. And if this is boring, just fast forward. <laughs> you can get to the statue parts. Um, but this is a tour collection, so collection tour. So I'm going to cover everything. Um, this right there, he Steve Ditko sent that back to me. Um, and if you've ever written to Steve, then you know that he, uh, God, how do I say this without offending him and shit? Um, he's not the politest guy, even to little kids. So I sent him some stuff, um, from work and he returned it back. And he even sent me back stamps to make up for the stamps that I sent him. And he sent back everything except for the envelope that I hand drew on. I did a custom drawing cause I'm an artist. So I did a custom hand drawing took up the entire envelope and he, that was the only thing he kept, which I thought was totally cool. But he, the date on the letter is the date of my birthday. And I, uh, that was an awesome gift. So looking at my, my desk, when I sit here, this is what, this is what, what Kevin Smith, what? Got that from the secret stash. Okay. So this is what I look at when I'm doing my business, working on stuff. So let's start down here. I like to make museum cards. And on the back, it gives you details about who made this, you know, what set it's from and all that good stuff. These are rare and I love these. Manufactured webbing. That's Venom. Only uh, 25 of those exist. Look at that Cota Bokia by Eric Sosa. Yes, one of my favorite pieces right there. That's from the episode where he played the debonair guy on the plane. And that's serial number to 350. And here's the Spider-Man one. This one, I believe, is they only manufactured 50 of these. I think, something like that. One of my favorite Spider-Mans. I don't care what you say. This bad boy, this 1-6 scale Kodo... It can compete with just about any Spider-Man. I mean, look, 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 look. What? Oh, I should probably open this, huh? Okay. What's up now? Look at that. Right? Look at that. Right? And I like making those little newspapers too, by the way, so. But look at this Spider-Man. It's got that Todd McFarlane sculpt on the webbing too. Cause remember how Todd said that it's got a continuous loop. And when I draw it, I, same way. It's just, you just think of it naturally like that. Anyways. 
I love the zombie stuff of Venom and Spider-Man. Oh, sorry about that. I hope it's not loud. Tapping the glass. Look at that. Venom Jack in the Box. Just got that. Merry Christmas. There's some Venom posters directly from Regal. I even got the exclusive ones, which I should have put up because they only made 500 worldwide. Ended up with three of those. Short story. I'll tell you later. Ooh, Spider-Man. What's up? Life size, Sony. Um, I, this was one that went to the theater, not the one from Hollywood Video or Blockbuster or wherever it was. Got it from a guy, a prop maker up in San Francisco. He had a bunch of stuff in his uh, house. This was the first, um, one of the first one six I got. I should have lit it up, uh, but it takes like these, those weird funky batteries. This is my favorite electro piece. I like this one. The sculpt is so intense and so, and so like, so accurate, I mean, and detailed. Those are some Bowen pieces in the background, which Randy replied to one of my tweets. <laughs> so I got all excited. It was about Galactus. This I was waiting for when it first came out because Eric did that one, and I remember the videos and everything and showed him sculpting it and his ideas and he actually changed some things based on feedback from people. And then this was next. And once I knew that was next, I was like, I am definitely pre-ordering that. So, uh, that's a coin from the movie Spider-Man 3. It's golden sealed because it's one of the ones used in the movie or prop. All right. And pops. I don't collect pops as I pan and show you my pops. I do not collect them, meaning I do not collect all of them. I only collect like Spider Man related ones. So it means Carnage, Venom, all that. So let me see if I can get up there and show you. Look like how many Venoms I have, right? And there's more, but. I can't chase them all, man. This isn't like Pokemon, gotta get them all. Like you can't, it's not that easy. Everything costs money and money doesn't grow on trees. So I'm a grinder. I will go on the grind and hunt and try to get pieces, you know? Uh, okay, so that first edition, first version of Flash from the TV show with um, Grant Gustin, whatever his name, um, when he has a red symbol, brought that on the plane back from New York. Got the reverse flash. Got this one on the way back from LA. This is one of my favorite autographs right here. It was a special incentive to get those if you were a dealer and did sports cards. Um, Cause it was a two card set. So you never know if you're gonna get one or the other, but it's got everybody on there except Tom Welling, which ugh, if you remember this picture from the movie posters or the series posters, he was in the middle. But yeah, rest in peace for uh, Lee Thompson there. It passed away a couple years ago. And then you got, oh, there you go. Justin Hartley, there's his autograph. Kyle Gallagher, he was one of my favorite characters because I like Flash, even during that. So there's their version of Cyborg. Anyhow, okay, moving on. Someone just tap the screen or something if I get stuck talking about one thing too long because I will do that. And I know how easy these videos go on, so my bad. Mini version, big version. Very hard to get without bring, having breakage at the legs. Very common with those particular pieces. Here's an artist proof right here. Maybe I can open all these. So get... uh, golden Age soups. That was a garage sale find right there. This one right here. I believe that one's based on Alex Ross, so it's a really gnarly piece. There's those 3D glasses down there from the movie. <laughs> Watching Wonder Woman. Yeah. All right. All right. Don't know what I skipped there, but I had to do something real quick. 
<sighs> quarter scale sideshow um, Iron Man. Love this piece. Love this piece. Mark 42, exclusive Harley Quinn. These are new. These are new. These are the um, Cryptozoics um, 1 1 scale uh, pieces. Like when they had the Joker glove, what you get to. Um, they, they're coming out with different ones. And this is the Harley Quinn. That's the regular version. So, also about this base, I love this Harley Quinn exclusive. I love this. God, I wish I had a gimbal. But this piece is exclusive. And there's her head back there saying, what? I always thought that was bubblegum when I used to first see that. Quarter scale NECA Deadpool first version. This, I don't buy, I don't like these kind of pieces. So I've never bought them until Toys R Us was going out of business. And then I saw this. I, I had friends reporting for me and telling me because a lot of people know that how big of a collector I am here locally. And um, they told me, hey, we saw the box in the, in the, um, uh, blah, 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 drawing a blank, the cart, shopping cart that they were putting up on the shelves. And, they, and it was at the end of the day, so they said they didn't put it out. So the next day I went and it was out. I bought this bad boy and got a discount. Like there's all kinds of different, like, I mean, there's little, little things like, look at his, um, let me see if I can see if we can read that. Oh no. Oh, okay. Can you read that? Yeah. Read that. Oh, anyways, okay, it says something. But this is very detailed. He is very detailed and has a lot of points of articulation. Kind of chrome plated with some special paint and um, base primer I had just to get his swords that shiny. Maybe the camera doesn't reflect it. Poison Ivy in the background. And I'm kind of proud of the work I did on this Catwoman. I didn't get the exclusive, so I said, I'm gonna get her a bag. So, relative made the bag. And then I filled it with jewels. Let's see here. There we go. Let's see her. Gave her some bling on the wrist. Gave the cat some matching bling because she takes care of her kitties. This is a pretty kitty. Ooh, Joker's always around, lingering, right? Far out, totally far out. Okay, anyways, someone should have tapped the screen. I'm wasting time. Here we go, Captain America. Spider-Man, life size, based on Alex Ross. When the when the cover for what the, uh, Amazing Spider-Man seven ninety six came out, and I saw the cover, I was like, that matches my life size statue. My Spider-Man. I love this exclusive cap right here, sideshow quarter scale. Yeah, battle damage shield. Awesome. So, yep, got some pops. Let me open the case to this one, too. Ooh. All right, remember those hands I was talking about? There they are. If you haven't seen these or bought these or are thinking about it, get them. That's the killing joke back there from Best Buy Exclusive, serial numbered one. So, the little action figure and all that. And that joker I got from Canada. Fucking awesome. Thank you, bro. Prices are different, I notice. Um, but I have gotten so much good stuff from Canada, it's not even funny. I love you all over there, so. Okay, and this is like the COA for the glove. This is the artist edition, I believe. And then this is the rarer version, which is, which, how many, let me make this one, I think it was just, yeah, 200. 
of this. This is called Noir. But I'm like, he's got a white glove. How is it Noir? Well, I'm assuming his suit. And first edition statue right there. And first print edition of the comic book it's based on. Can I get in there? Here is the exclusive edition of um, Harley Quinn. This one's called the exclusive red and blue variant. I just thought it was, I thought it was kind of cool and appropriate to have these two pieces chilling together, you know what I mean? Like, and then Joker and Harley right in the middle. And then the first edition book. See, I used to have it printed, not stick it back there. Now I got the original print. Here's an old school pocket statue, uh, full version Joker. I thought it was only nice to put Barbara Gordon there, Batgirl, seeing that he paralyzed her. And here's the pieces. Care for these pieces, don't care for these pieces. But I love all statues. So let's just close that. Ooh, wedding invitation. Huh. We know how that went. All right, Venomized. Ah, oh, there's a chase up there. Um, again, Pops, I'm not going to elaborate too much on them because I'm not really a fan. But if you have questions, feel free to ask me. So not really. Come on. Okay. Loki and Thor at it again. What's up? This is from the set uh, Avengers and Adversaries, I believe. This is my newest piece. I love it. 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 Oh, yeah. Mixed media. One, two scale. I'm not really into PVC type pieces, but the Doctor Strange, when I saw it, I just had to get it and do a little bit of a paint job on it. So some detailing on his robe, his hair, his makeup, per se, um, the rings, his gloves, and the base. So I goldified some things. This right here is one of my favorites. Smaller pieces, but it's a smaller piece, but I really dig this one, man. It's like having all these characters. It's like having a slumber party on a little... Like diorama slumber party or something, you know. And there's so many p characters featured on the base. Like, I wish I had it on a Lazy Susan so I could spin it around and you can see it. I used to before. I'm ordering some more because I need some more. So I had this, you know, for four or five years already. So when talks of the movie was coming out, I was totally stoked. And then here's Joker. With some print, paper printouts. Some cards I printed out and laminated. And and I don't have the lights on for these. Jeez, just when I thought I had everything turned on. Sup, jokey. Okay, that was stupid, sorry. Money on the table. Holla. All right. Ooh, look at this one. This one's cool. I think the person was mad at me that sold me this because I won this auction for like nine bucks. It's an artist proof... Captain America. Crazy, right? That's a loot crate there. Oh, let me open up. Oh, tap my phone. No. Dr. Doom. Von Doom. If you have, for you big ballers, super high-end collectors, have the Doom on Throne, this is, you got to have this piece. It's a sideshow exclusive. I think there was 500, right? Heavy piece, but it matches identical. I've seen it when people have the, the chalice and then they have this. Like that whole set, the, the Doom on Throne, then it's chalice exclusive and then you have this. I mean, that's sweet. I've only seen that a few times. So not a, a lot of collectors have all of them together. Wolverine, R.I.P., bro, R.I.P. I love this piece. That's what you call adamantium, right? Guess where that came from? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Post in the comments. Tell me where that one came from. What? I'm into autographs too. I used to collect a lot of autographs. Now I just kind of, if I get something for like a character or something, then yeah, I will keep it. Hawkeye. These pieces are called, uh, the Sideshow um, exclusives uh, called Archives. Let's see how many, can we see underneath there? How many that one? Uh, 750. Those are so cool. And these are heavy. 
These are solid. These are old school sideshow pieces, so they're solid. All the sideshow pieces are heavy as beep. You know what I'm saying? This one's dope. This one's cool. I don't think you can see the quality and the, the like the, let me see. Like the flake, the pearl flakes or something. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man, but this is really cool. It's magnetized at the top so his glasses stay on, but I want to try to get inside there so you can see the detail. Like, I don't know, man. Like, this piece is awesome. Moving on down. Here's Captain America. Same thing. It's from the archive set. Then you got Archangel. Then you got these guys down here battling out because they're from Avengers and Adversaries. The Mandarin and Iron Man. Old school classic looks. Okay, moving on. I'm trying to hurry up. Kind of, sort of, not really, but whatever. These are all three exclusives from Sideshow. These are more of a, a one-fifth scale. I remember when I first got them, I was like, oh, well, I got, got them one at a time. I remember saying, oh, this is bragging. Like, well, not bragging, but I was saying, oh, I was so excited. I got me a quarter scale Hulk. And only one person debated it and said, I think those are one fifth scale. <laughs> I was like, dude, you're right, man. I felt dumb. But he corrected me and I learned. I can't remember what the exclusivities of these were. Like, one was retail only. Uh, one was comic book dealer only, like you had to purchase it from them. And the other one was a print, like it came with a print. So I've always been tempted to paint, like I want to paint like, like, you know, road lines. Like, so he like did this in the middle of the road, you know, highway or something. And then I put the mini bus in here. These were only serial numbered 1963. So go figure because of the year. This one's custom. How can you have red and, or green and gray, but no red, right? I wanted to match this guy, so. I wish his hair was on his body. So, but that didn't happen. That was my first hot toy. Ever. Abomination. Randy Bowen, you're so, you're badass, dude. Love Randy Bone stuff. And like, look at this quality. Like, let's open up. Open up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Museum card with this bad boy. Look at that. He wants a fight. He's like, let's do this. Well, look at that look, man. Is that not like gorilla crazy looking? You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to paint like each one of these little horns or scales like i wanted to like dark green paint those i just never got around to it and if you see my website you know i'm an artist and you know i could do it just saying i love this one i love the fact he's got black pants on it this one i met with another super collector um down in well here in california near la so this is awesome i liked it and i was like he's got a yellow mark on his face and then yeah i was like oh yeah that's right Oh, yeah. And another coat of Okia. Of the Hulk. I always wondered why he made the base so small. And I've talked to him so many times. Like, I, I mean, I know he loves a lot of people and he's got a lot of friends, but in the groups that I'm a part of, like, he's easy to talk to. And I, oh, I forgot to ask him because he said he would sign it for me and stuff and gave me his address and everything. But it was like, I never always want to ask him, why the hell is the base so tiny, man? Look at the size of this dude. All right, let's move it on. And there's signs in the background. Let me see, where have we come so far? What was that? Did we just seriously skip Wolverine and Hulk? This was a pre-order. And um, yeah, how to do payments on this big boy because <laughs> that's not the kind of coin that you just lay down and be like, Bam, paid off in full. I mean, for me anyway, so I work for my money and there's a lot of other things that are more important than just laying down X amount of dollars. So if you own this, you know, and this is the exclusive. This is the double, double exclusive because I got the shield. I got the chain. And I got the heads. You know what I mean? I'm <laughs> just kidding, man. This it is the exclusive, but and then I made a um I made a museum card and I really wanted to make it like a double exclusive and put like a little feature saying 
with shield. You know what I mean? But I didn't do it. Because I'm chicken. But anyways. Only problem I had with this was this was loose. The magnet kept it on, but it was like really loose. Like you could shake it. So Sideshow like, was like, oh, well, um, you need to put some putty in there or something. So they sent me an actual piece of putty and keychain. They sent me some stickers and stuff and apologized. I was like, what? And I love these claws because one of the first things I was curious was like, are these metal? Hell yeah. Yeah, they're metal, man. Totally metal. So, and I got this on a Lazy Susan so I can, you know, twirl around like a dance, like a ballroom dancer or something. Look at the muscles on muscles. Looks like, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. This calves the size of my waist, you know what I mean? And the detail, I mean, on Wolverine, I mean, his boots. I swear I need better lighting in here, guys. I am so sorry. Oh, there's Cap. What kind of nightmare is this? When I was getting that dog tag made, he was telling the cashier, yeah, it should say Logan. I was like, really? you never seen a tag say Wolverine, huh? Okay. Um, I did a review on this piece, but I don't know if I ever published it. Um, I like how the wood has varying colors from alive or, you know, fresh to dying, like wood rot type. The, variant, the variations of the color and the contractor is really awesome. They did a really clean um, paint job on this. And... Um, with Wolverine, he's got the exclusive head. I don't have it on here. I have it in my uh, suitcase of uh, parts for these guys. So, but yeah, it looks like Hulk's about to bash his face <laughs> with Cap Shield, you know? Okay, moving down. Ooh, look at this exclusive. What is this? Is he smoking or is that a adamantium claw on his mouth? Just kidding. This is also the first set I ever put together. It's an older piece. Um, an older piece of the Sinister Six. So if you look at this, this is true to the characters in the comics in the old school days. So you got Doc Ock over there. You got Vulture back there. Mysterio, which you're going to see in the new movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, Electro, which I did not like. Um, Mr. Fox playing him, you know. So that kind of irked me because I'm like, dude is not blue, okay? Even though they did some like, you know, Easter eggs with his, these colors and the yellow lightning bolts in the movie, it still didn't justify his character. Not a fan, so that pissed me off. Craven the Hunter, look for the movie coming out. Or in production, or writing it. Black Suit Symbiote, you only got that if you bought Mr. Sandman. Bring me a drink. Okay, so that's how you got that one. So I actually have two of those because the first time I ever got Mr. Sandman, um, the box, he didn't have him. Someone took him out. So, because of course it was a swap meet find. But this is the Sinister Six, man. Love this statue set. Diamond Select. I mean, and these are pretty solid too. The sculpts are really nice. God, I don't think I ever talked this much about my statues unless I'm like showing somebody here at the house or something. So, awesome, 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 awesome. All right, ooh, Spider-Man slot machine, just kidding, nope. But it is a really original slot machine. Here is the Clock Tower Spider-Man statue. I believe only 2,500 of these are made. This is number something, something, something. Just got this one too. I like this piece. I've seen it so many times online and it's it's not too bad of a size either. Look at that. Um, I like it. He's just sprawled out like, I will not fall. I am the web slinger himself, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And there's even a hook in the back so you literally hang this on a wall as if it was a real clock, so. Okay, uh, let's see, ooh, Marvel sign. Um, there's a Wolverine print signed and stamped by Mr. Mac himself. Comic books, you know what these all are. These are in the best conditions I could possibly find them. I'm not into greatest stuff really, but these all probably should be. But see, there's the comic I was talking about. Was it seven? Yeah, I was right, 796. That matches, bam. Oh wait, let's do it like this, how do they do it? Yeah. Okay, that was dumb. Special effects. 
That's because I'm a collector, so I'm not one of those guys that have all the fancy cameras and fancy software and all that good stuff, so, you know. This is one of my favorite pieces. Thank you to the person that sold me this because I wanted it so bad. Second edition, of course, but who cares? Look at the detail. Look, there's blood. Oh. God, I swear, I, the vocabulary I want to use right now, like, holy shit, this is so awesome, like, probably just make my video fail more than it is now, probably, right? Okay, all right, got that established. Okay, I like how the manhole is kind of, like, busted out, like, Killer Croc. See, this is the way I envision Killer Croc also. And seeing him in Suicide Squad, don't get me wrong, I like Suicide Squad, but come on, man, you know what I mean? Like, seriously, come on. You can't have him. I mean, what was that? What body was that? You know what I mean? Like, he needed this. He needed to be swollen with a croc head. You know what I mean? Like, that. Man, like, uh, something should have changed, man. Let me see if I can get in here and get some detail. Like, look at this. If you ever, if I was to ever advertise a piece, I would say buy this one. First or second, don't care. It's all pimp, it's all intense, it's all crazy cool, man. Look at that. He's got the batarang swinging around like, I got you, mofo. I'm going to treat you like a pet. Wrap you up and drag you. Look at that. Batarangs. One of the things about this piece, though, is when I've seen them sold online is they're damaged. Either the tips are chipped. Come on. Come on. Make me look good. Make me look good. Focus in there. Okay, never mind. Uh, like the batarangs are broken. Um, the battering itself is either extended, broken, twisted, bent. Um, what was the other thing I saw? Oh, uh, the flying pieces of concrete from the manhole broken off. So this piece literally was brand new. Like, I so scored, so thank you, individual. And moving on. See in the back, there's a minibus. See, that's one a life size I have we'll get to. I've seen that life size. That's big as, you know what. I have that one. You saw that one I wouldn't mind having. I've seen that one too. It came close, but eh, a little out of my price range. And the Green Goblin. Can I get in here without bumping anybody? Hello, Mr. Silver Surfer. Spidey. Let's get over here. I'm trying not to bump. Bump, uh, I'd hate to be recording all of a sudden, like, boom, crack, you know. Here, I love this piece. I used to have it on Lazy Susan. Like I said, I need to get more so I can have it. You got Thor catching Loki on the throne, like, bro, 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 what's up? He's like, you are, you are, whatever they say, you are ruining father's throne and his chair of, you know, kingship of great lordship i don't know what you know you get the point i like this piece the paint job is really clean and it is a um it's a sideshow piece so it's very solid and heavy um it's one of the it's from the versus set it's like hulk versus spider-man you've seen that big famous piece then there's like psylocke and somebody else then there's i think iron man and namor then you have loki and thor this piece is really cool i like this one a lot of good teaching. I wish the hammer was a little bit bigger, and I wish they would have, like, maybe had the inscription on there or had the leather strap hanging. But you don't see that, and otherwise you just... Yeah. Loki's like, I'm getting my swerve on. I am sipping, bro. Loki, you know, Thor comes up from behind. I will crush you, fool. I will smash. Can you imagine that? Smash, smash, smash. Yep, saw that from earlier YouTube video. So, but anyways, I mean the horns. There's like uh, two. Um, there's sh shadow shading and tint on the contrast, so it's really good. I like it. All right, oh, what do we got down here? This is a cool piece. I like this one. I've I wanted it for a long time. Um, it's uh, this one's on the Frank Miller Dark Knight. Um, Look at the gun. He's like, fool, I got kryptonite in here. You can't fade me. 
I just, I never liked his face. Um, Superman's face on this. Supes looks like, dude, are you all right? You know what I mean? Like, are you okay? Because you got a funny face. <laughs> and what's up with this hair in the front, dude? It's almost as long as your damn cape. But anyways, quit making fun of him. Okay. I always tried to figure out, like, and I couldn't see it. And I seen this in the stores or something. And I said, like, who's back there? And look who it is. It's Robin. But it's the female Robin. If you remember, I believe there's only one of three or one of two that ever existed. So I thought that was cool that you had an extra figure in there hiding in the tank. You know what I mean? And by the way, I hate the fact that the bottom of the boots are white. Never liked that. Never liked that. Brand new piece. Brand new piece. Um, well, not right now. I've had it for a while, but... Got it brand new, so I was totally stoked on the price. Love this, love this, love this, love this. Can't go wrong. Ooh, time is melting. That means I'm taking too long. Okay, so this is uh, my Joker. Let's go slowly, move slowly like in the movies, and then bam. I love this piece. Again, I love all my pieces, but I made a, car, a deck of cards there, kind of put it in his hands, gave him a full house, could have given him a real flush. I don't know. I could have put a four of a kind or something of jokers or something. I don't know. But I love this piece. I love this piece. The, 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 it's mixed media. Um, I just... Some of weird, goofy face, too. Let me see if we can zoom in. Anyways, just kidding. That was a fail. I know. Um, that one's made by um, muse the museum collection or the museum quality. And if you've seen them, they have a Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Joker. I think they all look whack. They look... They don't even, I don't even know how to explain it. They look goofy. But this one, out of all of them, looks proportioned in a way where, you know, his legs don't look like... There's just something about them. All the other ones look goofy, in my opinion. So this Joker one is worth is definitely worth uh, buying. And plus, I needed a big Joker because I didn't have any quarter scales, and that's quarter scale. Up here, we've got the Kryptonite's cool. I got to put batteries in that, and then I got the rocks from Michaels, and the dome glass. I kind of like. You'll see that I have several throughout the, my collection. But I thought that was kind of cool to have um, them in there. And then this was the. Sideshow, oh, this is the Hot Toys Batman. So I thought that was kind of cool being able to mock him up, you know, and stand him up. But for some reason, his belt, utility belt, started falling apart. And I don't know why, because I don't really mess with it. I never touch it. But and remember what I said about Joker and his legs? That's what the other ones look like um, from that series, that set. That's what they, that's what the legs look like. They look goofy, like, like God didn't finish creating his body or something or forgot to add an extra kneecap. I don't know. It's crazy, even though he's a toy, he's not real, so God didn't make him, whatever. That Batman is sculpted by Grandpa, and I got him in Seattle when I went to, when I went back home up to Pike's Place. I love that place. Never get tired of that place. Okay, and then when I went to Mile High, okay, so let's talk about this one. When I went to Denver for work, um, I, uh, yeah. This was the only one that didn't have a pri uh, price on it. Now, if you look at my video, I did a whole tour of Mile High. And this was the one thing I went by and I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of, I like that. Like, I don't have, you know, like. So anyways, they ended up shipping it for me for free. Let me tell you, Mile High Comics in Denver, they're expensive. Don't get me wrong. But that day they had started day one of a sale where all books were 60% off and all statues were 40% off. So I also know how to repair statues, like and custom paint them the whole nine yards. So this one was detached from the base, and that was an easy fix. So again, this is uh, uh, this is uh, made by Upper Deck also, and uh, is this based? Yeah, based on the Alex Ross piece, and only uh, three hundred and five exist. Isn't that a weird number, three hundred and five? Anyways, this piece was a part of a large collection they said they bought. And they are really nice people. Walked me around, showed me where like everything was at. And I told them, can I record? And they're like, hell yeah, dude, go for it, bro. I was like, sweet, done deal. So because I got her, I had to get, of course, Spider Woman. 
in Spider-Woman. So Spider-Man number one, and then Spider-Man, Spider-Woman first appearance. That's not her first appearance, folks. This is her first appearance. Let's see, we got Black Lightning back there. First appearance. Ooh, Vibe from the CW show, uh, from the Flash. That's his. And those are all first appearance covers. And those are some of the extras I got from Stanley's company for the Christmas uh, two years ago. Okay, moving on. I used to have my drawings everywhere. Ooh, Harley Quinn. What? All right. Yep, Big Rob Layfield, uh, fan that day when I went to go see him. He signed some stuff, and if you bought a VIP ticket, there was only a handful of us, and he was doing extra stuff for free, he said. So I was like, cool. He wrote maximum effort. I didn't even ask him. I was just signing. I'm straight. So that was cool. That was a few months back. And remember I said I don't collect pops, so it's only like Spider-Man related ones and Deadpool. So Deadpool ones, yes. I will collect. If I don't have it, I will try to get it without going poor and having to eat Top Ramen. So, so if you have any you want to donate and put on my collection, I will talk about you. I will advertise for you. I will put you on my next YouTube video if you do that. <laughs> He's like, you're retarded, dude. I'm giving you a thumbs down on this video. Uh, let's see. That guy was cool. A friend of mine knew him. And uh, he did some sketches for me, signed them to me. That oh, was freaking awesome. I sent him a picture to show him, like, because he wanted to know, like, you know, can you send me a picture where you put this in your collection? I'm like, hell yeah. Do. Hell yeah, I will. Do. Spider Man. Let's jump over here. I know a lot of people do not like the Green Lantern movie, but honestly, I thought it was cool, man. Like, I didn't, I mean, sure, it was flaky in a weird way, but I, I liked it. Let me see if I can. Oh. Let me turn him around so I can be as thorough as possible. Okay, cool. Zoomed in. Your quality way. So there we go. So the movie wasn't too bad, but you know, I mean, it had its issues, its plot holes, its, you know, I mean, there's things. I just, as a fan, I liked it. As a critic, I would have been like, okay, we got some issues here, Mr. Reynolds. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to turn this light off now because, uh, ooh, blue light. So, let's see if we can see the green light there. My daughter has got me some stuff. Oh, uh, okay, here we go. A lot of these are Christmas gifts. and All right. All right, all right. And see, I have stuff on the ceilings, you know what I mean? Like, I have stuff on the ceilings. But I really wish it was more lit up over here because I really want to share. In fact, hold on, me if I pause the video and then turn the light on. Let's try that. Let's try that. Movie magic. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I can work with that. So this is the section that I didn't, it was too dark to see. Okay, and I, I turned, if you notice, I turned everything off because it was, it was loud. But look at, look at that, man. Looks like it's dark in here, right? Like I'm in someone's house recording and shit and it's all nighttime. Okay, so maybe this wasn't a good idea. Let's take a look at the roof here. All right, now let's, well, let's stop with the light. Oh, maybe it won't be too bad. There we go. I even have a floating Spider-Man there. Had to redraw all the lines. This was one I brought back from Denver right there too. So I love the whole fish because I believe in that run, it was all about him trying to copyright or patent smiling fish. If someone knows the, <laughs> if they know how that was. Ooh, old school William Puckett. So that's a nice off. old school piece right there. And I look at it, and I'm thinking, this is the way they sculpted a long time ago. You know what I mean? Like, what is that? It looks like a bunch of goop. Gobbly goop. And then you look back here. Look at the old school way he signed his name. W. Puckett. Is there a year right there? A maker's mark. 94. Out the door. And hey, 94. That's good here. And then this, I don't know what that is. Is that a website? 
Anyways, okay, 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 okay. Come back to Earth. Come back to Earth. Um, this is an old school flash. I like this one. I like this one. I, I did a review, but I don't know if I posted it. I love old school pieces because they're solid and it's really heavy. And there's a Kotobukiya soups. Um, that one's obviously the um, Henry Cavill, so I love that piece because it's got the bendable wire and cape, so. Moving up. Ooh, what's that in the leg? It's a joker. If it focuses ever. And it's not going to. How if I zoom in? Still zoom in? Oh my geez. Never mind. Forget it. Anyways, Harley Quinn. Got this one on my way back from LA. So I usually stop at different comic book stores um, when I come back like from LA or something. Just kind of have it. All right, Soup's quarter scale. Nope, not the exclusive. So I wanted the exclusive. I want his eyes, but no one's willing to sell just his head. Really, just tell me the, the shiny little red things that go to his eyes. But I think that's cool. I like it. Classic look. You know. And can someone tell me, was this an add-on piece because the balance, the, the, the leaning issue? I almost want to say it was. Yeah, it's either that or was this piece. I can't remember, but I thought that's what they did. I don't know, I could be wrong. Okay, so here's Golden Age statues. Old school, got almost all of those from Hollywood Boulevard. Because every time we go down there, we hang out. And me and the family will be like, what's up? And I always look for stores. It's just habit. Haven't done that in a few years. But this was a, a, a kit put together. I got at Toys R Us and painted it. You have to paint it because otherwise it's just gray, like... Literally like that gray right there. And so I just ended up like having fun going to town, testing my artistic abilities. I did a review on it. Someone's like, dude, how much you charge to do a, a you know, it's like, oh, never thought of that. And Lady Deadpool. Ooh, look at that glove. I did this glove. I, I did not see another glove on the internet when I did this one. I remember I was saying like how this is for a right hand. This should be for a left hand. How did they get that wrong, you know? Oops, sorry, Loki. You got to get out of the way, buddy. Right. And this was cool because this glass case, I got this uh, garage sale find, I think. Craigslist, that's right. This was fun painting. This was fun experimenting with this gauntlet. This was totally, totally groovy. Totally groovy. I was, I was digging it by like all kinds. Got so many messages on that. Okay, and then Thor's hammer up here. Um, this is the Marvel Legends um, replicas. So this is a pretty awesome piece. I like the size. I like everything about this piece right here. I mean, in, in the affordable range anyways, it's not like one of those master replicas that are like five or 600. So this is totally cool. Um, I printed out the fonts and everything and had the file created I made and then I sent it to a buddy who does vinyl cutting and that's how I got that because I, 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 I think it just kind of adds to the authenticity of it. And so um, that's how that came to be. And then there's my Alex Ross Thor. There is so much chrome plating on this thing. I'm, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. Look at that. Ooh, can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, say, can you see me? All right, moving on. Captain America got these one by one. Exclusive versions, are like the variant versions that were, you know, battle damage version and some more Deadpool. There's like three versions of that Deadpool, right? There. There's like the blue and yellow one, X Force, this one, and then the unmasked ones. Also oh, four. Here's my spinner, late '60s, early '70s um, spinner. The guy knew what he had, and so we negotiated. Love it. There was no damage. I think. Well, well come on, don't be a liar. Don't be a liar, dude. Um, a couple of these were broke right here, and for the age. And condition, I didn't care because this was immaculate. He had, you know, the original 
What do you call these things? Anybody know? I want to put in the comments. Like, holy shit, what, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. But anyways, this is the way. This is a screen printing issue. This isn't like wear off issue. It's the way they screen printed it. You can tell. So I didn't care what this thing was. Made. The guy's like, um, when I asked about it, he's like, because I was going, it was on consignment at an antique store and, and they weren't selling it. They just had a bunch of comic books in there that were selling. And I was like, I'm interested in the stand, the spinner rack itself. And so the lady's like, I can contact the seller, you know? So we went that route. And she called me back and was like, yeah, he doesn't know if you know what it is and the rarity and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we got down to some numbers. And he was like, if you get it today, I will sell it to you for this price. I was like, sold. So yeah, I put comic books in there. And there's my Batman. I love this Batman. It's not exclusive because he doesn't got the battering in his hand, but you get the point. You get my drift. These short version, I have one over there, the chrome one, and this one was made by a guy who works for Michael Jordan. Yes, the basketball player. I'm just going to leave it at that. Thank you, Pat, for having that made for me by your friend. Uh, Avengers and adversaries. Like, uh, remember over there, you got these guys fighting it out over there. Oh, okay. That's what these guys are from the same set. Let's get the front. Thanos. Thanos. Oh, this piece is pretty cool. I got him. I got him with, I got him with uh, Thor's hammer, Molinier. So what? How is he lifting it, right? Hey, hey, this is my story. Anybody can lift it if they want to. Um, that was a PXE exclusive right here. Gauntlet. Got that in Denver. Love it. Ooh. Core just got stuck on Batman's. Oh my god. Oh my god. This venom is so dope. Oh my God, I gotta, in fact, I wanna get this out and actually show you this one. I like this piece. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. And it's got weight to it because I kind of put some stuff on the base. But look at this, look at this. Hold on, no, let's get in the light. You deserve attention, buddy. You deserve the light. Look at that, look at that. Come on, focus, there we go, look at that. Oh man, look at that. This is so awesome. I love the way, they, again, I don't like PVC or plastic or vinyl or any of that, but this is one of those pieces where I don't give a shit. Like, this is awesome. This is awesome. Look at these oozing out. Like, Eddie's just sauced. You know what I mean? Like, like he's just liquid, liquefied, you know? Like, symbiote out you know oh man can you see that he's looking at you man he's come on zoom what the heck focus come on sounds like my teachers back in the days focus focus oh my god this is gonna make me mad i'm not trying to get your attention girl I'm trying to get this his come on there we go Look at that, just the oozing, just the... I think his teeth should be yes. wider right there, but you get the point. Like, look how it's oozing up, like, or, like the symbiotes do, you know what I mean? And just dripping down, you know? Like, he's in, like he got, took a bath in tar. I mean, look at the separation. And I'm not doing a review on this statue for saying I'm spending too much time on it, but I just, this is sick, man. This is just a really sick piece I love. I love it. I might do some airbrushing or some custom painting down there or do the bricks or something, I don't know. Because again, as an artist, our imaginations are just limitless. So I love about being able to have that creativity. And then, of course, that's the Marvel Legends gauntlet up there as well. I don't know if I could turn it on from down here. Ooh, let's do this. Oh. Oops. If mine looks a little bit more gold than others. That's because I goldified it out. Like gold delicious it out. 
Okay. Um, I think we've pretty much, we've, <laughs> I think I've pretty much shown you everything that I can show you. So, oh yeah, look at this. Facebook, bet you, you didn't win that contest, buddy. That was a few years ago. I didn't win it. Someone else did, and I bought it from them. <laughs> that was a gift. Thank you. Um, look at this Scooby Doo. Lights on. Zoinks, Scoob. What are we gonna do? Zoinks. Okay, I can't do it. My bad. Shit. Make a negative like then. Thumbs down the video then. Anyways, so this is cool. I really like this piece right here. This was really like, I mean, just some of the uniqueness, the chain. I don't understand the chain on the fence, but it's like its own, it's like its own, you know, diorama. It's its own scene, you know, frozen in time, Scooby and Shaggy just underneath the street post, you know, like what's going on? What mystery, you know, what are they scared of? So uh, I tried finding that on eBay. I couldn't, I actually found this when they put it out. It was old stock, but new, never opened at the comic book store. And I was like, I snagged it up. Cause, and then I was like, I want another one. And I couldn't find one on eBay. I found a sold one that was for a hundred and something bucks. But otherwise, I mean, you know, I mean, look, it's not that, it's not that big, you know, but it's just so unique and solid too. This isn't like hollow, it's solid. What's up girl? Who are you trying to hypnotize? Who are you trying to mesmerize? That's a Comic-Con exclusive, the, ice version or something like that so okay it's getting to my favorites before we edit in the video my stanley and Joni lee yes where's the other one here's a it's signed by campbell Joni lee and stanley it took me forever to figure out because i didn't know she she didn't sign rarely did she ever sign but she did a couple i guess from the way i information i gathered or got and so that was awesome so I think I've covered everything in my collection. I mean, I really don't know what, what more to say other than thank you for watching and that I'm a collector um, first and foremost. Um, not a video person um, that's, you know, fancy graphics intros, none of that stuff. Um, I'm a collector like you guys that are watching these videos. I search for people's collection tours and, and, and I, I do all that. Um, so, uh, that's that's the one thing about me that's why you don't I don't have hyped up animations or stuff like that so sorry not sorry because that's just you know again I'm a collector and I've been asked many times to hey share your collection man like you know you post these onesie twosies of things but we don't really get to see you know like the in its entirety and I try to do photographs like the 360 ones and stuff like that so um a, excuse the mess, because, you know, I need a vacuum. And B, I'm um, sorry for no fancy video footage or fancy, fancy, you know, stuff. But, uh, again, I'm a collector, so I'm just trying to share my stuff with you guys. <laughs> Anyways, so thanks for watching, and um, I got to learn to keep saying this. Sub, you know, subscribe, like, share. Um, show me some collector love, share, post links to your videos. Uh, I have no problem with that. It's totally cool. Cause I like to see other people's videos. I like to see other people's, um, collections and room tours. I think that's awesome. I mean, that's just, <laughs> that's just awesome. You know, um, because there's a lot of so many other collectors out there and I'm like, you know, like for me here locally, I've never met another super collector. Uh, in town, I've always had to travel or meet halfway or something, you know, so, and that's, that's, you know, that's, I guess that's just how it works. You know, bigger cities have them. It's not like I live in a huge, huge town, but it's big enough. So anyways, subscribe, share, like, share with the world, whatever comments, any comments, concerns, complaints, grudges, um, thumbs down. Cause I talk too much and I ramble or the video shitty quality and I shake too much cause I don't have a gimbal. Um, it's all good, man. This is the internet, man. There's people hate and people don't like, so <laughs> I'm, I'm totally cool with that, man. Not, so anyways, thanks for letting me waste some of your time that you're not going to get back and, uh, have a good night. Cause it's like early ass in the morning here. So anyhow, 
Talk to you guys later, man.